Google Anti-Gravity is a new integrated development environment from Google with built-in AI features. It was released as a public preview last month alongside the new Gemini 3 Pro AI model. One of its distinguishing features is its tight integration with the browser. According to the developers, it can independently open websites, click on elements, read data, and even verify page layouts. Today, I want to check whether this is really the case, see if Google Anti-Gravity can actually do all of this in a real browser, and find out whether it's all visible in practice. Hi, I'm Nick, and I've been developing software for over 20 years. On this channel, I share my experience, insights, and thoughts about IT. Okay, first, a bit of theory on how browser interaction is implemented in Google Anti-Gravity. When the AI agent executing your task needs to interact with the browser, it invokes a dedicated browser sub-agent to handle that task. The browser sub-agent launches a specialized model that is optimized for working with pages opened in the browser. An important point is that this model is different from the one you select for the main agent. It is a dedicated model designed specifically for this type of interaction. This sub-agent has access to a wide range of tools required to control the browser, including clicking, scrolling, text input, reading console logs, and much more. It can also read your open pages using DOM capture, screenshots, or markdown analysis, and it can record video as well. It's important to keep in mind that while the agent is controlling a page, that page will be highlighted with a blue frame and a small panel showing a brief description of the actions being performed. During this time, you won't be able to interact with the page yourself so that your actions don't interfere with the agent's work. However, this applies only to the specific tab where the agents are operating. You can safely continue working in other tabs or open new ones. Also note that, at the moment, Google Anti-Gravity works only with the Chrome browser. You'll also need to install a special browser extension. Anti-Gravity will prompt you to do this automatically, so there shouldn't be any difficulties. Everything is done in just a few clicks. Alright, now let's see how this works in practice. For this, I created a simple web page with a registration form. However, this form has several specific characteristics that will help us understand how well Google Anti-Gravity can interact with a browser and whether it can be relied on for testing and using web pages. This form includes a few nuances that are not immediately obvious to an AI. First, all fields must be filled in to submit the form that's obvious to a human. But we'll see whether it's obvious to the AI as well. Second, the submit button becomes available only after the checkbox agreeing to the terms is selected. And third, after the form is submitted, the backend response arrives only after a few seconds and only then does an error message appear. It will be interesting to see whether the agent can handle this and understand what actually happened. I won't tell the AI about any of these details in advance. I'm curious to see whether it can figure everything out on its own and handle the process correctly. Okay, in the Agent Manager window, I ask the AI to go to my page and fill it out using the email address I provided. If any error occurs, it should tell me exactly what kind of error happened. After that, I leave the agent alone with my code, don't interfere in any way, and simply watch what happens. As you can see, Google Anti-Gravity thinks for a moment, then launches the browser and starts filling out the form. It realizes that it also needs a password, comes up with one, and checks the box agreeing to the terms. It's also nice to see that it waits for the form submission results, instead of just clicking the button and moving on. One more important point in my settings, AI is not allowed to run console commands on its own and can do so only with my approval. I consider this important from a security standpoint, otherwise the agent would have almost full, uncontrolled access to your file system. Because of this setting, when it needed to save a screenshot of the error, the agent asked for my confirmation. Alright, the agent has finished its work. If we look at the activity log, we can see that it generated several artifacts, and if we open the right-hand panel, we can view them. These include a screenshot showing the error and a full video of the agent filling out the form. The fact that the entire browser interaction process is recorded is very convenient. In more complex cases, this can be extremely helpful both for debugging and for understanding whether the agent performed the task correctly. 
And as you can see at the end, it provided a summary of its work, stating that it attempted to register by filling out the form, but was unsuccessful. And it correctly identified the reason for the error. And finally, one more useful tip. After installing Google Anti-Gravity, make sure to hoe into the settings and adjust everything to your needs. There aren't many settings, so it will take just a minute, but it will give you confidence that everything works exactly the way you want and that your computer stays secure. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Take care.